and welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play with Wolves featuring myself, Wolf Brother, or Kyle, as you prefer. Um, just got back from a caving adventure, found a huge cave just over there, well, I forget where I went into it, I guess it was further down that way. And then I came up in the ocean over there through a naturally occurring hole and then encountered some creepers and had a bit of an accident. Blowing up a bit right there, blowing up a bit of that peninsula. But got a half decent haul, only two diamonds. Got a disc, music disc from a, cre uh, a skeleton shooting a creeper. Got a chain helmet from a skeleton, I think, and got this golden chest plate from a skeleton just now. Actually sniped him from over 50 blocks away, so I actually got the uh, achievement for sniper sniper duel. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten that, which is kind of cool. I should have recorded while I was doing it, but oh well. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Not too much, actually. A lot of iron and a lot of coal, but other than that, not too much really. Oh, did get 30 levels, so I'm going to do another enchantment here in a bit. This pick will last me for a little while, so I'm thinking <laughs> I ended up resorting to this axe because this one is almost broke, this sword almost broke. Um, and I don't know, I wanted to keep it rather than just let it break, so I switched to the axe. Uh, let's see, should we do a pickaxe or a diamond sword? Diamond sword might be kind of nice. We have a couple... I can keep that for the moment. Hmm. I should use this? Maybe? Ah, no, it'll just break. Because I don't have... Might repair the chain helmet and enchant it. Uh, so far... Cut these chain leggings off of Skeleton 2, I think. I don't think zombies drop the things they wear quite as much. I feel like Skeletons drop them more. Um, let's see, we can start some of this cooking. Uh, I like to cook them in groups of 64. Sure. Let's do a sword. Get some variety on. Get some variety here. Instead of just doing picks all the time. Sword me. And we're gonna put thirty levels on it. And something good. Oh. Oh. So sad. So sad. Ah. Oh. Man, haven't had any luck with the enchantments. And still haven't found a dungeon or a monster spawner or anything. Like, did find one ravine, a huge ravine, um, but really not too many resources in it. Next time I go caving, which I think will be in a little bit here, because you can always use more resources, more diamonds, more levels. Um, yeah, I'll go like hunt for clay, and then if I find a cave, I'll go into it. And I'm going to try and record it, but instead of um, doing commentary while I'm doing it, I'm going to record it, speed it up, and then um, put uh, commentary on over top. So we'll see if that works. 
uh, it will give me a fair amount of lag, actually. But, eh, we'll try it. Okay, see you guys when I see ya. Back from another my ending trip. Oh, laggy. Laggy, 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 laggy. Uh, didn't get too much, really. Uh, I've already unloaded the cobblestone and most of the coal. Got a, enough coal. Mine enough stuff to get 30 levels, but didn't find any diamonds. I guess that's a fair amount of lapis. A little bit of redstone. But, uh, so we're going to use our 30 levels here, and I've decided to use 30 levels on a fishing rod. Just because I kind of want to see what we can get on there. See if we can get something cool. Haven't had much luck with our enchantments of late. Just, well, I guess that one's not too bad. That one's, it's been doing the job better than an iron sword, that's for sure, but enchantments could have been nicer. I just saw an episode where Etho enchanted a sword and he got like four different enchantments, like max levels, like, oh, made me so envious. All right. And that seems pretty good. Luck of the sea, so we should get better thing items, more a uh, greater chance of getting um like rare like magic books and enchanted books and stuff like that. And unbreaking means it will last longer, so I guess if it would have lure which makes it go faster, that would be good too. Now, let's see, do I have anything? Let's get a couple of levels and enchant this shovel, these shovels and axe I just made. I'm going to need some torches. And there's the phone. Alright, back in level one enchants. Okay, and yeah, pretty much par for the course for those types of items. Uh, throw the iron here. Alright, I think I want to do some work around the base and then I'll be back with you guys. I was just doing a little fishing in the rain here and got a power to punch, or punch to power four bow. Which is a little better than my current bow. Definitely gonna switch that out. Even better repaired than my current bow. Well, still broken a little bit, but hey, who's to complain? Alright, I don't know if that's like a glitch or something, but I just. The second. the time after. just. I just fished again, and I got another bow. This time, power 4, punch 2. Same as the other one, just reversed. It seems a little suspicious. Alright, so I thought I had paused the game and uh, in the latest snapshot. Um, and got swarmed by zombies while I was away, as a T-Rex would say it. Oh, okay. Don't leave the computer like that anymore. Duly noted. Hopefully my stuff's still there. Hopefully, oh, who? Hopefully my stuff's still there. Stupid, stupid. Stupid zombies. Stupid. That's just like ex working on expanding. The oh my goodness. Haha, <laughs> kick it. Oh, I don't see any stuff there yet. Oh. Oh. So angry. 
so angry right now. a very expensive lesson. Now I've got to go do some mining. Well, I've got iron, I suppose. Uh. <sighs> yeah. One of the hazards of playing with snapshots, I guess, is you never know what changes. Well, at least I have good bows still. But uh, I want to get some more diamonds. I'm gonna go mining. Try to get geared up, back up. See you guys in a while. Okay. Maybe there. Oh, there we go. Man, I really do need to get a new computer. All right, back at it here after. Um, a couple days hiatus. Uh, as you can see, I am equipped again, and well, we're in the new snapshot again, and so the, it's not showing the durability on enchanted items, which sucks. But as you can also see, I've planted some flowers, just as kind of experimenting with them. I planted them elsewhere too, like up there, as you can see. I'm going to put a fence around it too, um, but I uh, haven't put the fence up yet. Just kind of experimenting. Put some over here too. I want this to be kind of like overgrown and stuff and like pretty. I don't really know how that looks. I'm going to think about it. Perhaps fewer. And as you can also see in my inventory, I've been playing with redstone. Um, and that's for my portal down here. Now, the thing I want to do is... Oh, if you hadn't figured it out already, I want to make it like um, a Stargate from the show and movies. So that's the um, the seven redstone lamps set around it represent the, um, what do they call it? The address codes things? Like, because most of the, the uh, addresses that they put in are seven, um, seven symbols long, so it, each one would light up as uh, a part of the... Um, as part of the address is put in. And so I was playing with that and just trying to... Originally, I just like... Ooh, wrong direction. There, okay. Originally, I had it all wired up just so that the same signal went to kind of each of them. Although I never did uh, tie it back up with the portal maker. Um, so, but that wasn't really working well because this one would be out by the time it got to, well, to like that one probably, because I had it going that one, that one, that one, then back to the bottom over there and up and then over to that one. That wasn't working very well. So I had to look up like a T flip flop type thing and so found it on the uh, wiki. And so that will turn it on and off, and I just need to continue the um, the signal around to the other ones and do the same thing that I have got up here, which might I might have to move these redstone lamps around. Um, and I know I was talking in previous segments about 
trying to do like a sped up segment, but I don't really think my computer can handle it because I get a lot of lag while I'm doing, while I'm recording and doing stuff. So I don't know how the lag will do, although you never know unless you try. So I'm going to try with this to speed it up. Alright, well that should give you guys a bit of an idea of what I need to go through to get these things up and running. Um, hopefully there will be a bit of commentary on there. But if there's not, I'll explain it in a bit. Or in the next section. Next part of this video. Shut up. Um, for now I think I want to do a kind of before and after type thing. So this is before. And in a moment, it will be after. Sigh. I don't know where he came from. Creeper got me. Frickin' hey. Where did he come from? I thought I saw a skeleton up there, but then I went up there and there's nothing there. There's just nothing. I don't... Oh, well, that's... Good. I don't understand where he came from. Did he see me, like, through the roof? was a skeleton. Maybe. Oh! I had 30 levels! What? Oh, I was saving those up. The next time I recorded, I was going to enchant something. Oh! So sad. Bars. Where did he even come in frickin' coming from? Er, better have everything. Yeah, I know, puppy. I'm angry. Yeah. Yes, I am. Thank you, Mika. Alright, let's see. I thought I saw something. As you can see, I was doing some work and I was almost mostly finished. Had this. Oops, that's not. Had this mostly all wired up and timed and everything. It was acting. I was just testing it and then I saw the skeleton. I still hadn't done the middle one yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's gonna be tricky. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna have any turning off mechanism for it. That is not. Let's see. Do I have everything? Looks like most of the things. Yeah, I think that's everything. Alright, uh, I wanted to do the before and after thing and the yada yada yada. Stupid creepers. Ooh, someone fell. Alright, be back with you guys again. I have finally finished all of the wiring for this and done a bit of 
prettying up work and such. I think I've got one side mostly done. Kind of liking how it's looking. I'm gonna put some more chests up there too. You can still access them underneath these half flaps. So it'll just be like nether storage. Actually probably be my big biggest storage area yet. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Um, before I turn it on, let's just have a well, let's have a look at some of the wiring. I'm sure um, because I've seen enough of it in hopefully the sped up section that I did. I haven't actually done that yet. I'm going to do that right after this. So it's not very pretty, my wiring. Did I? I'm trying to remember exactly what I did there. I'm sure it makes sense. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh yes, I think. Did I? Hmm. That'll be better, perhaps. Uh, I just noticed some timing things are off. A photo. But yeah, huge mess back here. Um, but I did learn a lot about redstone and wiring and such. So next time I build something like this, and like I'm planning on building, oh, how do I get out now? Um, I'm planning on building most of my uh, portals, at least in the over, um, most of my portals that are in the overworld or like the normal world. Um, to be kind of Stargate referenced in some way or another. Um, and hopefully, well, this teaches me, a, it's taught me a thing or two. Um, let's see it, how it's like when it's turned on. Like, I don't know if I showed you guys with the note blocks, but here's what it's like now. Da, da, da. Unfortunately, I didn't get a. Oops. I didn't get a way to turn it off because my wiring just got too messy and there's no space for me to like put it in a shut off switch. But the next one I build fancy like this will hopefully have one. Although, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens when it happens. Um, but yes, of course, so Stargate's, um, Stargate portal. So, the first find in this, or Stargates are first being used by, like, the Egyptian Gwauls. So, I thought I'd make this one Egyptian-themed. The one at the main base, I want to do, um, a chain mountain kind of, uh, style. And what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to make it more pyramidish. Like I did have it flat, and I was like, that doesn't actually look all that good. Um, and like I've just been kind of clearing out spaces on the side and pushing it back until I thought it looked good. Put in a couple pillars. And these are all half slabs here, so uh, monsters shouldn't be able to spawn. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking about I'll have like one piece of glowstone at the very top to help provide light and just like a couple torches here and there but I kind of want it kind of gloomy. Another problem with this is that to turn off the lights. Fortunately there's no sound but it will turn the portal back on. Ugh. I actually did that one time and like I'd still had it open down here and it went back and destroyed a bunch of my redstone. The water that is. Uh, I was like, what did it destroy? Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna finish up. Eh? Oh, for love. No, okay, phew. How did it get the button from. Okay, I don't even know. Um, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of this and then show it at the beginning of next episode, I think. 
then also in the next episode I kind of want to make the area around the base a bit more safer and perhaps build our dock. Uh, we'll see how the editing of this episode goes though. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>